What's up? I'm Ryan, and I said I would do this, so here I am doing it. Uh, this is a tutorial on how to use Superior Drummer in Ableton, and I guess the most uh, efficient and, I guess, controlled way. So, usually, if you just throw Superior Drummer on a MIDI track, you get everything routed through the one track, just like you would like every synth ever, right? Uh, but in Superior Drummer, you have like a million different mics and like inputs and outputs and you don't want to run your kick through the same processing as your snare and etc and etc so uh if you're a beginner to ableton like i was very recently uh you can it's kind of confusing on like well then how do you get it to be so like every instrument has their own channel because uh, in FL, I know it was super easy to do, but in Ableton, it's not as like straightforward. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come over to Superior Drummer, or you're going to load Superior Drummer up first. And uh, you're going to go to Mixer right here, click on Output, and you're going to click Multi-Channel. And then that'll make it so it's got a million outputs and inputs and whatever. Uh, and then you're gonna, first, the ch channel that you drop the actual VST onto will be your kick channel. And that's just how it is, and it's fine, like whatever. Um, but then what you wanna do is you wanna come to, you wanna add an audio channel and pr like probably put it in a group of some sort. Uh, you're gonna add an audio channel. You're gonna go kick, because you're taking the channel from the kick channel <laughs> you're taking the input from the kick channel that actually holds superior drummer so it's taking it from the kick channel and s34 and then that's your snare and then you're gonna go over kick s6 or s56 next one kick s78 etc 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 and obviously, if you come over here into your Superior Drummer and you just like add a ton of like extra room mics and ambient mics and whatever, you're gonna go on and on and on and on. Um, I don't really care that much about selling realism, I guess. So I only use like seven, and it's really not that bad. Um, something super important is uh, when you set the mic. Uh, just make sure I'm recording. When you set the mic or the input, make sure you switch it from off to in. If you don't do that, then it won't play. Like when you trigger the snare sample, it won't actually play um, unless you set it to in. So it's super important that you do that. Uh, this is a pretty tedious task. So if you're somebody who uses Superior Drummer for like rock and metal music a lot, um, I would suggest having a Superior Drummer setup file where it's already done for you, and then you can get right into creating. Um, and in, you would write your MIDI in the kick channel like this. And yeah, and that's about it. So if you have any questions, just put them down in the comments, obviously. Uh, I'll get to them as fast as I can. And yeah, hope you learned something. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, drop a like, drop a subscribe, whatever. Check the links in the description. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.